Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at modern women shocked by men's honesty. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. I said in Miami, each girl is a pro or, or a, a sugar baby in a certain level. There's girls that go to the club looking for guys just to get free liquor. Then there's girls that go out, but they pay, charge you to go out to hang out with them. And then there's girls that charge you to go out more knowing there's gonna be something at the end. Right. Then there's girls that strictly charge you for sex. Okay. And I feel like that's the majority of the girls here. There's like there's no girls that don't here in Miami, not you. That aren't working girls? That aren't a working girl in some fashion. Whether it's hmm. free liquor, so paid for sex. I think Miami has a lot of international culture and I think it's part of a lot of culture and I think women nowadays are valuing their time. Valuing their time. Valuing their valuing their time. Their time. If you're Is that accompanying them with their time, maybe you can show them value with monetary wow. and changing those words so it's not that anymore. Now it's it's just like but you what's said, valuing different? their time. Are you disappointed? Are you looking for wholesome girls that won't be charging you for their time? And not here, is, I'm not. Is, <laughs> not here. <laughs> so far, the first person we interview is confirmed that uh, Miami is a hotbed for prostitution, and it's just called valuing not their good. time. All right, so you pretty much got to stay as far away from Miami as possible, boys. Got it? $50 on a, for, on a date is very specific. I don't like this. Second date or after a conversation, I could buy you a drink. All right. I know that you're not nuts. I know that this is somebody I might want to take on a date now, I'll buy you several drinks. But just off the rip to buy rounds of drinks to spend, go to the most expensive restaurant on the first date, and then you get there and find out that she's f stupid. <laughs> so you, your $300 date, for what? He's being perfectly reasonable. You gotta test the waters first before jumping in. When you get trapped into a fight like that, you get tempted to try to win like no this time for sure you're wrong then you want to make your point and that's not great strategy because probably you're not a hundred percent right and beside that even if you do win you're stuck with your partner the next day if you win all the time then you have a loser for a partner and then you don't win unless you think that you can be a winner with a loser for a partner and so defeating your partner is not a very good strategy most people aren't that easy to defeat so even if you do win in some sense and you defeat them they're looking for the opportunity to return the favor and it'll probably make itself manifest sooner rather than later what you want to do in the course of a marital dispute is make peace there's no need to prove yourself right or wrong in an argument. A healthy one should be heard by both sides. What is your ideal age range in a guy? Ooh, maybe 19 to 22. Okay, that's why you didn't text me back. <laughs> What's your ideal race in a guy? Honestly, I don't have a preference. What's the minimum height that a guy can be? Has to be taller than six foot. Has to be taller than six foot? Like six foot and taller. What's the minimum income that your ideal guy should make? Ooh. You know... You seem like a bougie girl. Yeah? <laughs> honestly, I can care less. You can care less? Yeah, I'm happy with whatever. Literally anything. Like, well, he can work at McDonald's. Know. Oh, yeah, that's a good point when you put it like that. I mean, no, <laughs> there's no judgment. I feel like... It depends. Like, if I want a husband, I need a, like, good income. No, but you're, it's your ideal guy. So your we're thinking husband. Guy? We're thinking okay. husband, yeah. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe... 100k? 100k? Year? Six figures? Yeah, I'd that'll, say. That'll do you a lot. That'll do it. It's a lot of Lululemon <laughs> and Stanley cups. There we go. I got one right here. All right. Based off of those answers and those mm -hmm. answers alone, the probability that you are going to find true love, oh, I don't even want to say it, is, it low? <laughs> is 0.014%. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> it might have been the six foot and the six figures. Love my short kings. Do you? Have you ever given a short king a chance? I have, yeah. How'd that go? Eh, we're not, we're not being disrespectful. <laughs> it was cool. So it, it did cool. not go well. Okay. It was cool. It was cool. How is she going to say she doesn't care about the money, then expect her mans to make a six-figure salary? If I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No. Wow. Single women keeping women single. What your friends do, ladies, is they take your emotional bandwidth that should be for you and your healing, you and your progression, and what they do is they weigh you down with the with like an albatross around your neck. They drain you. They see your possibility and they realize one thing. They don't have the they don't have the desire to do any better. See, it's not as though they can't have what you're on the way to get. They're just too lazy to do the work. This is the this is the mess they do to manipulate you to stay stuck with them. 
and modern women are blind to the manipulations of their friends because you assume these people are actually your friend. They're not your friend. They're not your friend. They're not your friend. Those are not friends, which is what makes girls having close friends so scary. They will always listen to the friend. To my shorty, what the f are you broke? Like, why are you out at a bar if you can't buy yourself a drink? Nothing in life is free. Things come with, with expectations. Mm -hmm. There's just certain things you just don't put your, yourself in a position mm -hmm. to accept. I am in a relationship. That does not mean that I'm not allowed to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I am in a social setting. If you offer to buy me a drink, I will accept said drink. Why? Why you do you have like, to mention What, what is the boyfriend? thing about the drink? Why does it matter so much that you get this other dude for $13? <laughs> Why y'all so broke? When you open doors, you cannot control what comes through that. And it's very hard to close them once you open them, especially when he's been drinking, especially when he's a problem. Hard. Yes. It. Don't talk to no no more ever because you're potentially open a door for a to be on some because they have no type of control, no self-control, and they cannot do anything but harm women. That's what you're trying to say. Or just bring $12 with you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the harsh truth of reality is all it takes to knock some sense into her. You know that dating model that girls came up with? If he won't, find someone who will. Like, if he won't open your door for you, find someone who will. Simple, right? My brother just asked me, does that work for guys too? I was like, of course. Find a girl that is up to your standards. Yeah. So he's like, so if she doesn't cook for me, find someone who will. <laughs> yeah, technically. If she won't do my laundry for me, then find a girl that will. Hmm. If she won't come to the gym with me, find a girl that will. Why does it sound so bad when men say that? Because double standards. It's all about those double standards of the modern era that nobody wants to speak about. Average women don't think that average men are worthy of them. Literally, women think, right? And this, this all comes into it, guys. Women think that the things that make a man attractive also make a woman attractive. And that goes to show the solipsism, man. They see the world through only their lens. They don't see it through the male perspective or anything else. And so many of them wonder why they can't find their perfect partner, because the standards are too unrealistic. Oh, yes, One James. side, it's, it's, it, look, that's why American relationships are failures. That's why American women, on a global context, are the worst for relationships long-term period. That's why the divorce rate is the highest in the world here. And that's why, on a desirability level, American women are at the bottom of the global barrel. This is all statistically documented from men because at the end of the day, the ones who decide if a woman is valuable for a relationship is men. Well, a man is the person that's gonna have to, obviously, Concede. propose and buy the ring and, and all that stuff. And give them the ring. Real exactly. quick, real quick, I just wanna have everybody answer this. And a one-sided relationship is equivalent to a one-way train ticket to Breakupville. Women don't get married until right around 29 years old right now. I mean, it's and it's getting pushed further and further back. People wanna say, oh, well, it's because we've empowered women and they're going to school and they've got careers and no, bullshit. They want to hold out because they believe that they have more choice than they actually do. And then it bites them in the ass when they get past the 31 year old mark, whether you want to call it at the wall or whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Right. Once they get past that, they become yellowed pearls. They're not undesirable, but they become less desirable, less desirable than the 23 year olds that the guys that they want to get with at that during that time of their lives, assuming they're high value guys that they can only hold out for the high value guys. They're not interested in a 31 year old, they're interested in a 21 year old. In 10 years, women will be getting married in their 60s. Do you know that over the a certain weight, plan B is ineffective? I've shared this with you about a year or two ago. Over a certain weight limit, plan B is ineffective. <laughs> what? What? For ninjas that love thick women, the weight limit is 165 pounds. You ain't a lady oh. if you ain't 180. Yeah. <laughs> 210, what? count your boy what? in. If you're 195, it won't work as well. So it has nothing to do with body mass index, standard of beauty, the beauty standard. If you got a thick monster, slim thick, all of that. 165 pounds is the suggested max weight. Not to mention that it has been scientifically proven that excess weight leads to long-term consequences for human health. Do you believe in the quality? Yeah. So why should the guy have to pay? Because I feel like it's a respectful thing to do. I like that. Why can't you be respectful to the guy? I am being respectful to him. I'm giving him my f***ing time. He's giving you his time too. Okay. And your point? But so, so why does he have to pay? 
why can't I want to go into the, why can't I, why can't I like feeling pursued? What's she, wrong with she, that? She wants him to pay because she likes the traditional gender roles, right? Well, I guess, I guess if you want to put right? it that way, yeah. But I, isn't I, that like, antithetical to equality? If you want no. equality, you have to have it in all realms. You can't just, equality is not a buffet. You don't get to pick and choose what, what things you like if and I'm what you relation- dislike. Another one who just fails to see the double standard. Why are you single? Uh, I have a problem with telling women the truth. <laughs> As in, you don't tell them the truth or you tell too much of the truth? Oh, I tell them the straight truth. The, oh, and they don't like it. Yeah. Can you give me an example of the most recent too much truth for a girl that you gave? Like, if you're like, oh, do you think I look fat? I'm like, I know you're fat. <laughs> women will ask one thing and expect another answer, even if you're telling the truth. You let your girl wear revealing clothes when going out. The f- no. Right. Like, this disrespectful towards me, what? The only person that will be sh- seeing you is me, not other guys. If you are wearing revealing clothes and going out, you want attention from other guys. You are practically a 304 like that. Would you let your girl go out clubbing with her friends without you? Nah, nah, that's not gonna happen. That's how cheating works. That's how cheating works, guys. The girl will say, oh, can I go come with friends? And then two days later, you find out, oh, actually she banged your best friend or she banged someone else. And then you find out from another person. I'm not willing to take that risk. Go to clubbing. Girls are red flag, huh? Don't date a clubbing girl. Are you, are you crazy or what? Yup, and this is exactly why boundaries are set. If she isn't willing to compromise, then she's for the streets. <laughs> So you're not going to raise a card? Yeah. Right, we're not going to answer that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> no, no, I'm not answering that. We're not doing that. You can look at me and make a decision for yourself, innit? Whether you think I do or don't, but we're not going to lower the tone. Like I said, we'll keep it classy, because you see what happens now, yeah? Because now you've said and you've made the world know that you give head. Now there's out there, you know, there's having images of you, you know, getting teabagged. Doing your mouth, gargling wow. balls and all of that. Okay. If they're blessed like me, going all across your nose, up across your forehead, it's mad. Mm. Gagging, eyes watering, streaming, it's wow, mad. You're that's what you're, no, you're but that's what I'm saying. Not me, script. not me. But that's what people are envisioning that they're picturing all of that. So that's why I'm not going to partake. They're all thinking all that madness, man. Just you know, clapping you on the side of the head with a with a cough and all of that. It's wild. Bro literally just read everyone's minds and spit it to the world. She thought she could do better. She thought she could do better. And they always monkey branch 100% of the time, which means this. They're hanging on to you while grabbing the hand of another man. When that hand is tight and secure, they let go of you. When they're done with him, they go to another man. That's monkey branching. Women monkey branch their entire life. And then they get tired of it. Then they finally settle down. They finally settle down. Women... Women settle all the time. She can think all she wants, but when she finds the so-called better man, she will realize. I'm gonna you're answer, but go ahead. And you're supposed to provide, but then you're gonna tell me that you don't have to deal with my feelings. You a mother lie. Because if I'm your woman, that's the fuck. What do you think protecting and providing is? It's not just money. Y'all always talking about you only want money. That's because that's the fuck. That's all y'all think that y'all have to offer. If you actually provide for something emotionally, I'm then we wouldn't have to worry about. We wouldn't even be having these conversations. I'm telling you is that there is a lot of just it, 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 you feel you don't feel safe like you don't feel like being submissive is great. get a god dog get this bull i talk this bull for five minutes don't worry i got you don't feel safe get a pistol you don't feel safe fire body guard it is not my responsibility to deal with your feelings i cannot change your feelings they're yours that's your brain that's your heart if you insecure and scary as how is that my fault? Get tired of this bull. Y'all always want to blame us for every motherfucking thing. I am not qualified to analyze your mental state. I am not qualified to give you schizophrenic. It ain't got to do with me. You're supposed to come to me healed. You're supposed to come to me ready. You're supposed to come to me feminine. You can carry your back to the pot, man. She's asking for way too much for what she can provide herself. The double standard just doesn't apply to her logic. When women get older, they never give younger women the game yeah. because the older women are actually vying for the same types of men that the younger women are vying for, mm. right? And so you never ever tell your opponent the key to the game. You, you can console them, but the same types of men that the older women want is the same types of men that the younger women want. So the older women are never going to give you the game because they see you as competition. Mm. I think if you're trying to get advice from older single 
single women, that's where it can really go mm. back. But sometimes married women as well. Because how right. many married women do we know wish they could be back in the streets? Right. They see the glamour of being flown to Dubai and they don't know. Mm. They're getting flown, these single women getting flown to Dubai because they're... They're getting flown and blown. Flown and blown. That is what is going on. <laughs> so what happens is these older women will feel like, well, that little 20-something year old, she can't do nothing for you, boo. Let's come over here and mm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it on you. She's not grown. She's immature. This is how these older women are thinking, these cougars. And so they see you as competition instead of wanting you to win. When women are competing for relationships, that's how you know the boys are doing something right. There's girls closer to my age. I'm 33. They're still at the club. Friday, Saturday, if it's predetermined on a Friday or Saturday night, she's going to a bar or club, that's a wrap. It's also just, I, I don't go to bars and clubs. So I'd want like a similarity there with my partner. So what's your reasoning behind not um, wanting to do those things? There's a couple of reasons, a couple of reasons. So I'm, I'm more introverted and it's very, there's it's super hectic. There's a lot of people. It's very loud. The drinks are incredibly expensive to me. It's super loud. You can't even have a conversation with someone. I don't dance. I don't dance any better than a kangaroo, so... Never? No, Never. I hate dancing. And then there's just uh, the threat of violence uh, at at bars and nightclubs, which is a real... It's, it's a risk for women, but it's a much greater risk for men. I'm sure you guys have seen people getting their face smashed in in Isla Vista. Yeah. Um, My first night ever out in Isla Vista, I saw a guy get slashed in the face with a knife. <gasps> yeah, my friend. I've seen some crazy sh For most people, you get to an age where clubbing just isn't fun anymore. You have to have other priorities in life. Are women more likely to evince regret in the aftermath of short-term mating episodes? One night stands. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's a, okay. there's a rich literature in regret and exactly as you would expect. When you look at what people regret, um, women regret more these short-term mating opportunities that they, um, you know, participated in. Men more often regret those that they didn't participate in. Again, why do people still go out and do it if they know they'll regret it? Well, I'm an alpha female. Okay, uh, how long have you married? <laughs> I'm single. I never said I was married. I'm single. I didn't. I didn't expect you to be. I just wanted to make a point. And what's your point, sir? That alpha females tend to never marry. Yeah, I mean, but that, that's a decision that I made. I don't want to be married, uh, and I'm fine with it. Of course, it, it's always a decision. Okay. My platform is linear. Yes, it is. It's very much so. So, football is linear. Go to a but steak I place of steak. <laughs> I mean, why do why do I need to be anything other than what I am? Massively successful. Yes, you are, and, I'm, and, and that's so why do I need to be anything so. other than what else? I am. I am mass. I'm successful, and I'm consistent. Why is that? Not, I mean, I'm you're now a female, correct? Yes, sir. Have you not done the same thing in your career, presuming you've been successful? Yes, I own my own business and I've been very right. successful. Right, and the consistency yes, yes. and the linear nature that success brings has served you well, right? Yes, it has. Amen. Then why would you ask me to do something different? Because it, because I feel because because of what the because of what your message consists of. Don't start, like, beatboxing. Okay, don't start beatboxing. My message consists of what? I don't care. Become the best version of yourself, and then choose from the options you have available. Uh-oh. Before finding someone, you need to become the best version of yourself. Great words of wisdom by Kevin. I see a whole bunch of empty fingers with no ring fingers, so what y'all need to keep a woman? Listen, being married is not a So, are you, are you in a gonna, relationship? Are you gonna shut up when we finish? <laughs> it is not a prize for a man to be married. It's like, hey guys, I got married. Right. Uh, most guys got married. <laughs> That's yeah. a woman. It was like, I got married. That's right. how you girls fight and claw each, claw each other's eyes out to catch the bouquet at right. weddings to see who's gonna get married right. next. Back. Just to be clear, this conversa conversation started off of men like us, and that's what I laughed off of. I wouldn't want none of y'all to propose to me. That's why I laughed. We don't want you either. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get men like I was time. I this wouldn't podcast, want nobody like you. And this is not to sound insulting, My, but No man I would want would podcast, be on no podcast. This podcast is the only reason why you and I are in the same room. <laughs> 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 The women focus too much on getting the ring, but not being happy while getting that ring. The women know that once they reach 30, they are losing their ability to attract a man. The needs aren't getting as high as they used to before. Geriatric pregnancy is right around the corner. If you haven't had your first child at 35, you're really looking at problems with pregnancy. Regardless of what you women want to say, oh, we can freeze our eggs, blah, blah, blah. 
just add another 70 to 120 thousand dollars onto your bill just to have a child just because of your stupidity literally the price of a house just to have a child so you screwed up and now it's costing you in your older years the second that you reach in your 30s you are literally in the danger zone anywhere between 27 to 30 you are in the danger zone that is the place where most men interest in you drop significantly the next big drop is 35 and most women know that whether they like to admit it or not they know it. Yet they still go out and party like it's nothing. One day it will come back to haunt them. Dare you ask me to cook and clean. So they don't want to cook or clean. Sometimes you'll meet a woman that'll say, I don't mind doing any cooking or cleaning. And while she's cleaning for you, you know what she's cleaning up? She's looking at you. I mean, you should be doing equal amounts of this work too. She's keeping score. And so this is a violation of the social contract because they're entitled to your meat, which you can measure. Then she tries to couple this with equal partnership. You're literally giving up tangible resources to her. If you actually measured what you get back to her, I can almost guarantee you it's a 90-10 relationship. You give the most, she gives back very little. See, this guy knows what's up. Relationships should be equal, not one-sided. Being a call is exactly like being in the friend zone. It's the, an the analogy, it's analogous. It's the parallel to being in the friend zone. Because what is a we call? It is. 100% all and no emotional investment. That's what it is. You know what being in the friend zone is? 100% emotional investment and no whatsoever. It's the exact opposite of it. That's the difference between a call and what well, different. That's the similarities between a call and being in the friend zone. Congratulations. You're complaining about being in the friend zone. So what do you tell guys that are in the friend zone? Get out of the friend zone. Stop doing that. Stop investing in that person because you, you're not, it's not going anywhere. And you're not a bad person for saying, thanks, but no thanks. I have enough friends. Do the same thing. Ladies, if you're sick of being a call and being in hookup culture, it's not the guy's fault. It's your fault for being in there. I would say the exact. He's got a great point here. If you don't like hookup culture, don't be with men who make it clear that they don't want a serious relationship with you. A lot of things will be hard for you to comprehend. That's why you're in work because you can't offer value in the marketplace. What the fuck? Fatality. <laughs> yeah, no, if you have well, legit. I think I have no, a lot more no, to offer if than you have. And if you had like significant that I started one second two months love. ago, like there's a one lot second love. To offer if that. you had love. significant IQ yeah. and skill set, you'd be able to go into the marketplace and earn a good income such that oh, you didn't gotcha. have to do that. Being that the most valuable thing about you is mm -hmm. something that you never earned. You didn't earn knowledge, you didn't earn skills. It's your that you're paid for and your so you market that to earn money. Huh? Finish it. <laughs> if you weren't doing only how would you earn a six figure plus income? work at one of the highest club, highest, like, I work at one of the best clubs in Las Vegas. Of course, another OF model complaining that she can't get a decent man. It's not difficult, ladies. Don't give yourself away to the world. If you want a quality man, then be a quality woman that he deserves. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.